This is The Sand Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of the, the new Pit Stop. The new Pit Stop being the Pit Stop that is done well live. I'm playing it live, and I'll be watching it with you live, but we don't have the chat going. There will be no distraction. We are now a Friday-only show in an attempt to kind of consolidate all the news into one spot where we can move right through it and all of our viewers can find the news in a timely manner. Happy Friday to you all out there. I hope you're having a good week so far, and this is building up for what will be a great weekend. Of course, I have all sorts of racing that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm sure all of you the same, and that always makes me super-duper happy. So what is going on in sim racing today? And I will make an apology as this show evolves as the new pit stop the friday edition of the pit stop evolves i will do a better job of proof reading the stories that is my intention i did it last week this week i'm a little behind it's kind of like in the old style we had some technical difficulties getting everything up and running this morning but in the future that will not be the case i guarantee you so by as soon as next friday i should be well versed in the stories when we bring them out also i had a few people still don't know when the show is so i still have people sending me stories in if you're hearing the chiming on the audio, that, those are stories coming into me from our, our fans and our audience and our pit crew members, uh, and we'll see if I add anything. We might just have to cut it off right here since we're now filming the show. So, uh, how are you? How is it going on in your world of sim racing? What's going on in sim racing out there in the world? Starting off with iRacing, they are talking about the iRacing Rallycross All-Star Invitational. It returns this Saturday, tomorrow, at Daytona. So this is a big deal. When they talk about an all-star invitational at iRacing, you get a true who's who uh, involved in the event. And, uh, and, and all-star can always mean various different, coming from different worlds. In the case of this all-star, we are talking about the real-life pros. Real-life pros. Look at this. Look at this driver lineup. Steve Arpin of U.S. Rallycross. Ron Caps. you guys know him from previous uh, uh, all-star race is great racer. Even though he comes from NHRA funny car, he's a very talented sim racer. Ed Carpenter, Connor Daly, Mason Filippi, uh, TCR race winner and two-time 25-hour Thunder Hill winner. Sage Karam, Mike Krolik, and Jerry Hawkins. Uh, Bucky Lasick. Oh, look at Bucky Lasick. Michael Leach, Ari Leyendijk Jr., Connor Martell, Fraser McConnell, Tyler Mannings, Travis Pastrana, Anyway, the list goes Scott Speed, Kevin Swindell. Um, really, really awesome list. That is tomorrow at 10, uh, tomorrow, October 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And that'll be found via the iRacing Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube pages. Uh, so that could be pretty entertaining for you guys tomorrow going on. Uh, IMSA fuels the championship fever with iRacing Triple Crown Challenge. This is a new thing. The three-race sim racing series mimics the actual WeatherTech championship schedule and is open to iRacing members. Uh, virtual racers around the globe can share in the excitement and anticipation of the 2020 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship season builds to its dramatic conclusion by participating in the IMSA iRacing Triple Crown Challenge. Uh, what do they have? Let's see, what's in the challenge is what I want to know. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. We'll utilize GT Le Mans, GTLM cars in one class, 60-minute race format. Um, we'll be open to all 170,000. I, you know, I haven't seen this number in a while. The new series will be open to all 170,000 iRacing members. Uh, events are set for October 11th at Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval, October 25th at WeatherTech Racing Laguna, Raceway Laguna Seca, and November 8th at Sebring. So over three weeks, we go from Charlotte Roval, Laguna, and Sebring. Each race starts at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcast on our racing's YouTube channel. So there's something that anyone can do and anyone could win. New format unveiled for the Porsche Tag Heuer eSports Super Cup Qualifying Series. Uh, Vodafone to return as sponsors for $200,000 prize pool next year for 2021. And this is for the Qualifying Series. This is the Porsche Tag Heuer eSports Super Cup Qualifying Series, which will provide 20 drivers with the opportunity to join the 2021 Super Cup grid. Uh, that begins in late October. Um, so yeah, they, new format, 
and it looks like that is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The super session, season, session, the super session, I think that's supposed to say season. The super session schedule is as follows. October 24th, Okiyama, 31st, Gilles Villeneuve, November 7th, Sebring, 14th, Circuit de Spa, and 21st, uh, Jose Carlos Pace. There you go. Uh, in addition to that, they are promoting one final round to crown a champion. This is in the current, the 2020 Porsche Super Cup. Uh, G2 Sebi sits in front of J.K. Rogers with one race remaining. Who will walk away with a $50,000? You know, depending on where you live, $50,000 may be a lot or not a lot of money. In my opinion, $50,000 is a pretty decent living for being a sim racer. I'll say that. I wish more of us could make that kind of money uh, sim racing and put more of us into the professional ranks one way or another. Moving on to our, fo our, factor, our factor. Just yesterday, by the way, I put a video out on the YouTube channel, uh, my tips on how to get the most out of your force feedback in our factor too. Uh, I, I tried it out recently and walked right into the reverse force feedback bug, I'm going to call it. And uh, they've changed the way you fix it, but it still changes very similar. Going from plus to minus force feedback is basically the fix. Uh, put that video up yesterday. Anyway, uh, here's an article if you want to read it. I'm not going to go through it too much. We've covered this in great length already. Uh, strong points and missed opportunities. The PCCD Sachsen Ring uh, with Rudy Van Buren. And we heard about the, the various uh, uh, things from his first race at Le Mans. And now we have the next event and things you can learn there. And you can watch the videos and look at the pictures and read all the article about our hero, Rudy Van Buren. Something else. Uh, one other thing out of R Factor, Ferrari update time. So this just came out a couple of days ago, three days ago, actually. Ferrari update time. We spread some love to the GTE and the new GT3 Ferraris in R Factor 2. Find out what's changed here. And they have a, a link there telling you all the, the fixes and changes to the brand new car. Ah, uh, there's Rudy. Hear about him. Answer your questions from the weekend. You can check that out on their page as well. I will have the links to everything we talk about here on the show in the description below on YouTube. Uh, Project Cars. Uh, why is this here? This isn't supposed to be here. They have a Rivals Challenge. Um... Yeah, okay, Let's. this is fine. This week's Rivals Challenge is you in a 700-horsepower IndyCar threading the needle between the concrete walls of Long Beach. Uh, get a lap under 106, and you're into the hunt for the top of the leaderboards. I don't know. We'll have to see. Can you do a 106? Can you do a 106 at Long Beach in Project Cars 3? If you can, you can be up there on the leaderboard in the Rivals Challenge. Go get it! Go get it! Get you some! I think that's it from Project Cars 3 in terms of news. They have some pictures and things they're showing off, but no new news. Uh, Dirt, they just had a quick post a couple days, a few days ago. Uh, just kind of an update on the things they've teased us with, the things they told us about Dirt 5. As you know, each month they've kind of rolled out more and more information. The game comes out November 6th. It's going to feature four-player split screen. 120 frames per second option on next-gen consoles. <clears throat> a star-studded career, photo mode and livery editor, online party modes, playground arena creator mode, playground arena creator mode, trucks, buggies, <laughs> rock bouncers, and rally icons. I'm pretty pumped. We're less than a month away now, you guys. Less than a month away until Dirt 5. What else? Uh, Formula One game? I didn't have any news. Oh, I, I mentioned this in the last show. Just want to let you know. I mean, I know when we talk eSport, we're talking that upper echelon. But at the same time, there's only one way to get there, and that's focus, determination, preparation. Uh, anyone could do it. It's uh, You know, we call them aliens. <coughs> we call them aliens. But in reality, we all know they're born here on planet Earth, just like you, just like me. Was Ayrton Senna an alien? Was Michael Schumacher an alien? Or did they just have a little more skill set? Maybe it was a little more practice. Maybe it was a little more focus. I don't know. But they weren't actually aliens. They are born of human. They bleed blood, red blood like the rest of us. Anyone can do it. Qualifying for next year's F1 Esport Pro Draft is now open. 
find the event under the F1 Esport tab in F1 2020. By the way, I want to pat Codemasters on the back for that uh, and applaud them on making that a focal point of the main game engine. So whether you're an F1 Esport competitor or not, you have access to what's going on and made it part of the game. I mean, let's face it, we're in 2020. Esport is here. It's here to stay. And it is based in the Sims we play. So why is, you know, I, not why isn't it, but I applaud Codemasters for making it right there. Which means that if you wanted to get involved, if you wanted to see where you size up against the F1 Esport pros, if you want to see how you size up against people trying to get into that series, or better yet, you want to ready for a record-breaking run, record it. Anyway, um, if you go there, uh, you can get exclusive F1 Esport items. And you can qualify for the Challenger Series. So just by going in there, you've done enough to qual to get exclusive F1 Sport eSport items. Uh, update to NASCAR Heat 5. This one's free for everybody out there, just part of the in-game updates. Indy Road Course and Vargas TikTok Scheme are here. Those are some of the highlights of the latest update. But the main thing being, hey, Indy Road Course. Gotta love that. Full patch notes are right here. Uh, Indy Xfinity only. Add Indy Road for Xfinity only, by the way. Add Ryan Vargas TikTok scheme to the Xfinity series. Add Tyler Reddick Cheddar scheme to the Cup series. Add Indy Roval to 2020 revised schedule and championship mode Xfinity. And here we have a screenshot of the interior road course. That would, that would be tough. That'd be tough in NASCARs I've driven. There's the TikTok paint scheme, by the way. There's your cheddar car, by the way. Tyler Reddick's cheddar car. So, good to see an update for NASCAR Heat 5. Forza, they, they, we haven't seen any updates, I think, because we're waiting on the next gen at this point. I mean, Gran Turismo manages to keep some updates coming along. Anyway, uh, one thing they did mention, and I think we all know this, but just to remind you, Forza Motorsport 7 is now available with Xbox, Xbox Game Pass on console and PC and Android mobile. Ugh, I hate saying that. Android mobile devices with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Raise your hand if you plan to play today. Ooh, I'm going to put my hand down. I don't think I'm going to make it there. But if you want to play some Forza Motorsport and you have Game Pass, it is available for free. Uh, Gran Turismo obviously getting psyched about the next gen of the game. We're all getting psyched about the next gen of all the games. i got to tell you whether you're talking Gran Turismo, Forza, or even Dirt. Uh, Gran Turismo is asking you, what is the, what, it, which Gran Turismo box cover is the GOAT, the greatest of all time? Here's the OG, Gran Turismo. That's pretty, I like that. Gran Turismo 2. I don't like that as much. This is my personal opinion. What are your thoughts? Gran Turismo 3, A spec. No, nope. OG still better. PlayStation 2 version of Gran Turismo 4. All right. You got to like the car. But it's still a little plain to me. I'm still going with the OG. Gran Turismo 5. All right. I think that's a badass looking box cover, by the way. I really do. It's hard for me to choose whether I like... <gasps> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Whether I like 5. And then there's Gran Turismo 6. So my pick... For sure. Uh, what about yours? You tell me what your thoughts are on this. My pick is somewhere between. Let's look at them one more time. Gran Turismo 5. That's pretty cool. Or the original. You know, I like that Gran Turismo 5 one a lot. But there's something about the OG. There's something about the simplicity, the abstractness of the tire background. It's not plain. It's not ordinary. And at first look, you might not even know what you were looking at. But on second look, or to a, a, a car guy, it couldn't be anything but a tire tread. Uh, I'm going to go with the original. I think the original cover is the best Gran Turismo cover ever. That's my pick. What do you think? What's your pick? Uh, let's see. Ritza Studios, Automalista 2, version 1.0.4.0 is out. This is actually almost a week ago, right after we finished a show. Uh, last week it came out. The new app update, we talked about all this. We showed uh, the pictures even. Uh, the new update adds several classic cars. The popular Mini Challenge JCW, as it is in the top class of the UK Mini Series. Two cart circuits, remember we showed those along with usual. The two cart circuits were uh, uh, imports, uh, uh, re-dos, <laughs> and imports from Automobilista 1. 
along with the usual package of new features, fixes, and improvements. Check it out. There you go. So that is now live for Automobilista. We are excited about that. Uh, the new Cupra, this is a race room, race room, the new Cupra Leon, I hope I said that right, e-racer is now available. The world's first 100% electric racing car. How can you say that? Isn't Formula E 100% electric racing? Is it not a racing car? It's a race car? <laughs> Zero to 100 in just over three seconds. Uh, I'm assuming that's kilometers. All on electric power. Anyway, uh, enter the Cooper e-racing competition for free 10,000 euro prize pool on that one. So that just uh, posted an hour ago, by the way. McLaren, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, which is today. They posted this 20 hours ago. So maybe four hours, approximately four hours from now. Uh, 6 p.m. today is a big announcement regarding McLaren Shadow Driver Academy. You know, they have silhouetted two drivers is this an announcement regarding lineup? Is this announcement regarding a new version? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, we're going to have to look into that. We're going to have to follow that later today. Let's see. Uh, this is for Euro Truck Simulator, not American. Euro Truck Simulator. Today, we're happy to bring you something new, cool, fun, rewarding, and entertaining together in cooperation with our friends over at Renault Trucks. After a very successful and impressive Trucks World Cup 2020 contest, we've been thinking if we can create something similar and reward our best community ever once again. You might have noticed that a few moments ago, your Steam client started downloading a small update for Euro Truck Simulator. And with it comes something special and new, a brand new paint job for the Renault Range T truck, the Boss Edition. So there you go, a little freebie for you. Oh, look at the, the model. Oh, ha, ha. Uh, but getting, okay, wait, 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 um, but getting this amazing piece of art for free is not all. Our friends from Renault Trucks are also ready to send four cool scaled models to our four lucky winners who will be randomly picked on various social media platforms. What do you have to do to get a chance to be one of them? It's super easy. Just get this new paint job. So do the update that they talked about and apply it to your mighty Renault truck range T and ETS. Take a nice screenshot of it, upload it to at least one of the social media platforms. They use Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook under the hashtag, I'm the boss. And you will be entered in to win one of these really cool little uh, model versions of the car. All right, this is a story that just came in. So forgive me, I have not read these at all. Um, but this is kind of a big deal. And I did hear some a buzz about it out there in the world. Um, just uh, the link you gave me. Oh, Mitchie, I can't do that. Sorry. I, I, it's not going to make the show, bud. That's not the way it works. Friday deadline. Sorry. Um, all right. I grape, I racing new grip cheat exposed. Now I don't know fact or fiction, fi fiction when it comes to this. Uh, a new video has surfaced exposing what seems to be another case of cheating on iRacing service. Bruno DeCaro, we know that guy. He's super awesome. Um, he follows user Kalen Cross 2 at Suzuka. Readers regularly alerting us of such incidents. Um, Cross can be seen taking the S's. Let's play the video. This is Bruno DeCarmo behind him, by the way. A very fast driver. I don't really see the issue. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I wish I knew what he was saying. Um, so he gained a two-second gap in that. And, and this isn't the first, by the way. So this has happened. It's suspected that Cross has been handed a grip boost no more than 5 to 10%. But even that's enough to be gifted a second in a single corner. Even more in such a tricky section like Suzuka. Anyway, um, I don't know. Um, he saw a big leap. Safety rating. Um, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm just showing it to you. Uh, the grip 
Flick, a physics exploit available in most sim racing games. The thing is, with fixed setups and cold tires, using the grip flick in the first sector of the track is impossible. I don't know. I Like I said, I didn't get a chance to read the whole thing, you guys. Caleb Cross. This is another article at Sim Race 24-7. Caleb Cross. I've been cheating for over a year on iRacing. What? Following the emergence of a clip highlighting a fresh sp spate of cheating on iRacing, the cheater himself reached out to us to offer their side of the story, supposedly. Um, so... But cheating is rife in all sims. Cross or someone pretending to be him for whatever reason contacted me through Twitter's DMs. Clear up. There was no relation between himself and cheating him. Um, the reality... Oh, okay. But cheating... Okay. Caleb. Cheating exploiting is quite funny. I wouldn't be surprised if there are cheaters in the pro scene. iRacing has a wonderful and unique way of loading the game and exploiting the physics in the game while it's loading. So, what? you know what? I'm just going to say this. If you're a cheater, F you. Have a spine. Have some balls. Be a man. I can't believe people cheat. Cheating, lying, stealing are not ways to uh, uh, go up in my book. Uh, lying, cheating, and stealing are the demise of society and whether you're talking something as innocent as sim racing or you're talking about things going on in real life lying cheating and stealing is downright pathetic and if you do it stop it you're a sad excuse for a human being if you need to cheat to feel good about yourself get a therapist instead of cheating everybody else out of their things all right that's my little public service announcement i don't know who is or isn't cheating but if you cheat Booey on you. Booey. All right. Last week, we saw this post on Reddit. Fanatic Sparco Edition pedals. Obviously, the inverted version. The post on Reddit read like this. Real Sparco plates on Fanatic V3 inverted pedal set. Little bittersweet considering Fanatic rep told me a new high-end Fanatic pedal set coming over the next few months. I talked to the Fanatic rep, by the way. And we can confirm right now, those are not authentic pedals, so don't fall for it. Uh, the other thing that we can confirm right now is there is no pedal set coming out in the next few months. They have no announcements to make. There is nothing going on. And whatever rep told somebody there was, was speaking falsehoods, at least in the words of the actual PR guy of Fanatic, who I spoke with uh, extensively about the topic. So uh, don't fall for it. Those look great, though. They are good enough to kind of fool me. You can see some things. It's like, all right, well, obviously, if these were any changes, I, they wouldn't be just the same pedals with uh, uh, Sparco pedals. That's not a good enough upgrade, I don't think. It would have been under the hood. It would have been a change in the load cell or something else going on, which uh, we can't see in that image. But anyway, these are not authentic. There is no scheduled Fanatic pedal set in the next few months, just so you know. All right, that's getting to the end of the show. Let's talk about a couple of sim rigs and talk about sim pit racing and then get on with our weekend. The theme of today's rigs is that that starter out, where do we all begin kind of set up. <clears throat> Saw a bunch of those. So this was posted by Monkey Rings. This was his first rig and his latest rig. Oh, is that the Microsoft wheel? Oh, my God, that's the Microsoft wheel. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, look at that change. Bam. Oh, he did a canopy. You guys see this? This is something I have wanted to do. I don't do it because of streaming. I have really, really wanted to do a canopy like this to block out the upper, excuse me, the upper disturbances and distractions in my world i wanted to black it out this guy did it beautifully i really really like what he did there great idea for your sim rig by the way here's another one by jomo lungma <laughs> simple beginnings y'all gotta start off somewhere i agree we sure do so here's his starter set <coughs> that'll do i like the adjustable chair holder on this particular rig by the way that's that's pretty slick He's got his monitor up on a shoebox. Hey, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Congratulations and welcome to the world of sim racing. Another starter. Well, this one's an evolution by Speed Happy 6. The evolution of a sim set up from start to current. Yeah. Yo, getting better. 
Oh! <laughs> Nicely done, speed happy. Like the lighting, I'm considering some backlighting. Um, I need to do backlighting on a different project, nothing to do with sim racing in the house here. And I was thinking of buying an extra one to see what I could do in here with some fancy lighting. Not yet, but it's coming. Uh, this was posted by F-A-C-E. Just got into sim racing. Glad that he has his own first setup. He's well aware of the mess in his room. <laughs> Good. He preempted our uh, doing, but another starter setup. Hey, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, guys. You know, as much as I love the high-end world of sim racing, I love whatever gets people into sim racing. Okay, this is a little disturbing. What is that? <laughs> Clean up better than that, buddy. Uh, OZ the Malefic. Malefic? 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 I decided to get an ultra wide for the few games that don't support VR and made an awesome discovery. His racing seat is far more comfortable than his desk chair, and he thinks he's going to do all of his work from there. There's a testament to GT Omega. He's switching from his desk seat to his, his rig for everyday work. Anyway, there's his new setup. He's got the Lego Ferrari. He's got a lot of little cool die casts and things on there. Nice phonetic setup. Sennheiser headphones. Got to like that. Anyway, good looking rig. Good looking rig. So that takes us through all the news for the day. The only thing I'm really going to talk about right now. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Devin sent me some stuff. I've screwed up. Ah, oh, all right. Let's try to correct this real quick on the fly. Last week at Bristol, it was David Clymer winning his second race, two for two, after two races in the Simpit Arca Oval Series. He won the race. Matt Wagner finishing in second. Mark Mitchkowski in third. Billy Strange and Joe Hildinger round out the top five. With those results, David Clymer is winning the championship. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Winning the championship, obviously, with 86 points over Brandon Skinner. Rob Melnick is in third. Billy Strange, Mark Mitchkowski are our top five as we head to Nashville Fairgrounds tonight. This will be the first time. No, it's not. This is still another short track. For some reason, I thought this was the week we stretched our legs. Nope. Tonight at Nashville, 150 laps. Uh, the race will be live at Simpit Live from my perspective. It'll be live at Devin Booth on Twitch if you want to watch a broadcast version. And if as soon as the race is over, Devin will b upload that broadcast to the Sim Pit Pit Crew channel for people to watch the replay if they want to watch the broadcast version of the event. Uh, and then last week, oh my god, Silverstone. Silverstone did not go well for me. Sim Pit LMP2 League, Gonzalo Perone wins the race uh, by a br big margin at Silverstone. Nicholas Ehrlich Rosso in second, David Grunel in third, Randall White in fourth, and Fernando Zakarowitz in fifth. And after two races there, Randall White is leading in the points with 82. Big margin over Fernando Zakarowitz with 60. Randall McGrew is in third place. I just noticed I'm in 10th in both series. And on Sunday, that t group will head over to Road America uh, on Sunday for that race, which you can watch from my perspective. Uh, Devin Booth wanted to let me know all all you know, I should say, about a permanent rally, uh, I'm sorry, drifting server that is now up. So uh, if you go to the simpit.emperorservers.com, I'll put the link there in the description of the show. It is the Simpit Slidey Boys, and there's always an event running, various different cars. This time it's at Okabuki Motor Park, the full Tuj course. And uh, we will, uh, you can get in on that as well. Jump into our Discord. Just type in exclamation mark Discord. That will give you a link or in the description of the show. You can join our Discord and find our various different leagues and series and things that we're running with. So um, that should do it. Mitchie Hoyer, Mitchie Hoyer on YouTube has something coming out in about 20 minutes. Uh, he was trying to get it to me before the show ended. It's an uh, introduction video for the new R Factor 2 GT Pro series. So if you'd like to watch that, just tune in. He's going to be doing a premiere here coming up in just a little bit or maybe simultaneous to this show right now. But that is going to do it for this one. Again, my, my apologies. By next week, we'll be fully up to speed and we'll get all that prep work. I think people, it's going to take a little while for everyone to understand this show is filmed a little differently than in the past. They're going to have to get those news stories in earlier if they want to make the show. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the pit crew. Get out there, do some sim racing, and have yourselves a great weekend. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole. 
and I'll see you on the track.